Onivia League of Legends highlights. Vulcan has played support kind of AP Gragas, you know, almost like that bursty style uh, a fair bit here in the LCS over the years. So I'm expecting it is going to be that. Ooh. Vladimir coming Ooh. through very atypical. Vladimir actually but not quite, uh, but you can leech like any bit of a lane XP that's four. Doesn't really need four in Sinjao. You have all your skills anyway, but mm -hmm. you know, worth noting. Uh, Ryama is still continuing his trades up with Jojo Pyun. And now a fight in the bottom side. Tower is on Chime, but he's got the W on. And it's first blood of the bottom lane. Inspired. Oh. Golden Guardians. Huge. Like something he, I don't know if TP was down anyway, and it might not have mattered. But like, if he had TP, he needs to burn Ignite to unlock that yeah. spell. I think he did use it. I think yeah, they okay. traded TPs with Impact. That's fair. Um, is my assumption. But either way, you know, he'll be heading down. They are going to lose at least the one play, but they're looking for the engage here now. Four versus three. Sent ult to help as well. So four and a half. And now the fight begins. There's a ton of burst, and Shime will die. And then with Cannon over the top, it's going to be a kill as well onto Iconic. And now Stixa is left alone. Gold cartered and killed. A beautiful play by EG to collapse topside. I like the thought by Golden Guardians, but the teammates got there. Yeah, really nicely done there. Now this is Tony going for that kill. Flash for flash. Ignite cleansed as well. Golden Guardians is at the very least. You forced both summoners off of... Danny mm -hmm. and Tony just swapped over to Ghost, so he is going to be able to have the ability to try to uh, look for another play potentially. And his teleport is back up, so he can show up to a tower in the next few minutes. And now a stun combo comes across from the bottom side. Good damage. You're going to have a chase through a Sinjai as well. Kenan puts on a stun, but a flashless Kenan does not get to live. Shut down comes across with the jungler. He's in chunk out of Raihomo, who's there, keeping And Danny playing with a fire a little bit. You do have to you have to show respect. Anytime they have the empowered Q and Ghost up, it's a bit iffy. Looks like Stixie, they're just going to give over his kill. Yeah, he's going to stop the go. base. Yeah, even the chompers wouldn't matter. Of course, Olaf could always hold through it. So he's like, yeah, I guess I'll kite downwards instead. Get away from the team. Yeah, from 60 on that bot side. It's going to mean he gives up his life. Dragon will go over here to EG, so EG. Well, EG is like a little bit more mediocre, but uh, maybe it wasn't quite lethal. Either way, we'll move on to the play that we've got going on, which is top turret will actually fall. Initial kill, right? And that's why I really do favor like the sword food death cap style of build. I think it's extremely powerful if you can get into that back line. Uh, Dragon soul, though not by much, but just food for thought. Pro play, of course, can be different, but just some thoughts out there. And now bot lane being pushed in towards the tower. Building top, of course, can always immune stuns, but doesn't easily immune that one. Plays around the gold card, doesn't do anything, just doesn't hit buttons. Stunned forever. Tony, top, you got to use your fingers, bud. Gets dropped down. Jojo Pun claims the kill. Yeah, I did not show the respect to that. you got to pull the gold card, and when he doesn't, he is going to go down. If he pulled that... So Vladimir, for example, mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah, if you've got a wit send, the Merc treads everywhere, and it's spirit visage. Flatpens, you know, comparatively worse stat. Look at the play now uh, towards Chime. Slowed once. The stun's going to come down. Olaf ults it. And they got Digipun here now as well. Bunch of CC comes across and just a deletion. Down goes Leona. One for nothing, EG. And yeah, Ryoma shows up, but too little too late here. Does that Golden Guardians fight. No one's playing for the top wave. No one's playing the cross back, which means instead of gaining farm, they're going to fight for the dragon. But the problem is they're fighting for dragon on a 5,000 gold deficit and an instant death onto Iconic. Someone's got to, you got to believe someone hits him. Flash of safety. He's actually going to live. And let's look at the set of ulti. No, oh. Iconic. He just if he ran in the same direction, he would have gotten out. But the mind games worked out. Danny claims the kill. Golden Guardians set up for the Dragon, lose it, and are still dropping farm in top lane. Just didn't have any vision in that river, and they tried to face check through here. Got to do it a little bit more methodically. You have to feel like maybe check some of those brushes with the Victor lasers, do it a little bit more slowly, ward over the wall. Tony now getting caught here. Again, the stuns just keep layering in. He never cast the pool. This time around, though, it was Kenan getting a pretty instant stun. Not a lot of time to react to it, but six and a half thousand. The numbers keep growing here as people geniuses are going to get the side lane push as well. Bot lane tier two is killed, grows it to 7,000 now. Is a nice blast plant might mean more. Is there a play? He's just going to keep clearing waves. Has gone Hurricane, very much an on hit build here on the Senna. Uh, some positive synergy with the Hurricane. We'll talk about it in a minute though. As Inspired is chasing down on a chime. Stun's not going to do anything. E's four doesn't matter. Ever frosted and dead. Inspired finds the next kill. And now Tony Top finally gets his way to aim, but they are just getting punished again and again. They find a slow, a good zone, yes, and then the cross map comes in from Senna. One kill picked up, but a time for Iconic, but cannot get back onto his target. Gonna try as hard as the body slam builds some, some space, and down he goes yet again, a two for nothing, over and over and over again. EG's kills come in. Yep, absolutely. We're feeling pretty good about that, and obviously, the soul proc, really, really nice. Uh, can start to really poke through that damage. Vulcan, getting a little bit aggressive, but playing near the wall, so he's just gonna be able to retreat back, and now, have they overstayed? A great ult in. 
Yeah, pretty good. Ulti gives him some time. Has to flash away from impact. Inspired, though. Impact on the flank. There's the flash. Ulti kill on the one. Kill on two. Two, you have to believe. Getting low, though, and actually burned down. Victor claims the kill, but it's a 4v3 with the gold lead. Chasing down to Ryoma. Gets a shield. Not going to matter. Three kills picked up. Flash red card. You have to believe it. And it means Dixay is able to keep walking away to live. Had cleanse regardless, so it wasn't going to matter. And now Inspired finds another Q. Wasn't going to kill, but 6A flashed it anyway. 4v2 on the map. Health bar is low. Leona goes in. Stopwatch for a second to buy some time and now try him out of the turret. Is it going to be enough though? The rocks can come out. Stixa is trying to get the kills. Inspired is low. Is it going to be enough? He's side. Get a triple. Maybe there's some sort of hope. But instead, they all get out. Danny's going to claim soul here on the other side of the map. Area. That is going to be the game plan really from now and until forever just clear wards out of this section of the map over and over and over force golden guardians to come into this area and fight you around it Ooh, good knockback and a tf at the top yeah nowhere to go goodbye to ryoma maybe a retrade though yes they get the tf so a one for one but the other side looks bad vladimir and sinjab buying a bit of time however eg is too tanky inspired of the front lines does not care about this damage blast plant not gonna happen in time and it's just gonna be a complete shutdown there so another kill on the board down from the previous fight Instant ulti out there from Jojo. They get that kill. They get the Baron. It's going to be a good 12. EG favorite in that, you know, outscaling they're going to kick in when you keep your gold lead above 10,000. Look at the play. Ooh, they nice find a slow on a Jojo Pyun. Still the first stun comes across. Chopper's coming down. Not quite for the first route, but he's at one hit. Is there going to be more going on? Not just yet. Rocket not going to find its target. Looks like it's a sidestep there for Jojo Pyun. So no kills. And now Tony top too far up in the oh. river to shut down. And it's time to run away. Sure, TF might be gone, but can you win this one? He's in damage out of Victor Chime, so trying to front line. Right now, Stixie trying to lifesteal back up, but the rest of his team is already dead. Danny has shown up the team fight. Quadra kill, Penta kill. Danny shows up to clean it at the end. Danny going off. Another competitive Penta kill for this guy. What a player. EG looking strong here in game number one against Golden Guardians, and yeah. what a way to finish it. Vulcan instant body slam on that E flash from Tony Top. Danny goes off, cleans him up, and EG are looking good. All right, well done. 32 30. Nexus falls. Evil Galio is a team fight starter, right? Diana Galio, a team fight starter. I yeah. like this as a look of, hey, let's just get stuff started. Uh, Ezreal can ult up towards top, but maybe just gonna actually cross map. And you can see him invading on the map right now. He's already moving in trying to take away Raptors and yep. maybe just meet Diana because they had full eyes on Diana. Yep. So he's actually just gonna wait in the Smart brush. by Ryoma. Ryoma's coming down too. He's like, hey, we know this guy. He wants to invade. I mean, we saw this exact invade in the same matchup when it was TL uh -oh. playing in top lane. It's yeah. just a leash and Tony top takes a dirt nap. Tony. Krugs, he's forcing damage out or inspired. He could try for some, even the smite's gonna claim the big Krug. The bot lane's down here, EG having pressure in there two on two as well. Danny puts the choppers up, they're not gonna nice hit, view. but there might be enough. Right, almost here. The this could be enough, here comes the replay, and we've got a taunt on the two, kill number one, kill number two, yet again. Golden Guardians find first blood, they got two picked yeah, up. farm quite a lot, and that is really where EG's gold lead is coming from. And they're gonna keep pressing, because you know, Inspired is not someone to sit back. Um, but Iconic actually going tank Diana. I can't say I've seen this. experience with Predator is generally that it feels like it has more value either in side lane games or early game. You know, as far as team fighting and stuff, it's a, just a lot less valuable. Woo! Oh, he, he got it. it! He got the steal. How about the rest? Galli over the top. Good damage out to Inspired. Doesn't have a flash. Shouldn't have a way out. Impact versus Tony Top on the side, though. Pretty good damage from the Gwen. Getting some healing. The ulti was late. He didn't dodge any damage, Tony Top. The mechanics are betraying him as the rocket comes across the map. But Shime should find this kill and does. Iconic, though, he's got a Herald. He's not got a lot of health bar left. Tries with the shield, does go down. Four to three on the scoreboard. Gold lead to Evil Geniuses. Big play, though. Right now, but they're gonna try to set up for the fight. The problem is, can they even fight? Camille's walking down. Galio's on the way over as well. Does have ulti. They don't take a fight at all. They don't herald bot lane. They don't get anything done at all. Instead, we're gonna dive in and give up uh, two kills. Golden Guardians once again do absolutely nothing but watch the objectives get taken. And it's Dixay forced to run away. EG gonna win this fight. Danny gonna find the zap. The rocket is flashed. Then EG walk away. Just, there were some more obvious plays that I feel like Camille like continue pushing top. Drop herald bot. Get some gold here. They are going top side now. Okay, sidesteps the ulti. That's the setup you want to see. He survives the ignite. Thank you very much. Well played, Golden Gardens. One back on the board. Well, yeah. I mean, Tony Top's career started last year in Academy, yep. right? He's got a year and change of his entire career. Uh, and yeah, it, it's it's been a rough road here today, but 
he's a newcomer, right? Like, give him time, and then we'll see it move forward. Top, Harold. 1v1 me, so I'll just walk through the brush, but Tony Ryoma is still behind them. Okay. Can they pull off this pincer play? It's got to be well coordinated. Tony goes in first. Jump oh, in, they saw it. you. Didn't get whimsy. There's Diana Whoa! on the top. They're going to pull on a several. Galio only hits one, and it doesn't kill Vulcan. Goes in for more. Big Taunt, not going to find a ton. He'll go down. No, he lives. Thank you very much. Triumph, a one for zero so far. Turn it back on the Diana, though. Stopwatch used for impact, and impact lives. Tony Top's forced to run. It is a team fight. Plus one kill, and oh, no, he flash ease into the rocket. Danny claims kill number three. It was a good setup. It was a nice try, but EG run away with Chances the team. now and just didn't quite have the coordination on the entrance. It was an incredible alt from Iconic. The AD heavy on the EG side. Yes, Impact's doing pretty well, but it's 140 CS Gwen. Like, of all the threats, it's, it's not against a hard tank. PD is optimal second for DPS. Like, you get the move speed for kiting. It's higher DPS. Like, that is the real build. Ooh, see this one. Yes, a fight in the top side. Big damage onto Impact, who cannot get away. And on the board, once again, Golden Guardians. Now, I don't think they can burn down the Baron, but they can turn back the rest of this one. Danny taking the fight. Was with... for the engage on Soul Spawn. Unless they can pick someone apart oh, right now. Iconic wants him. in. Ezreal to the side makes some space. Danny does not get hit with the pull, though. So Iconic gets nothing done. And in comes Inspired. One for nothing so far. Time to run away. Danny's going to be able to free hit. Stopwatch for Ryomi. He's still going to die at the end. There's no way out of this one. Slowed down by Lulu and kills on the board. Three for nothing as Impact dives in for a final kill. Coding Top is down and Dragon Soul is going to Evil Geniuses. Really nicely done there by EG. They TP back in here. And get a good engage, but oh. That's killable. Good move speed. Yeah, forcing the flash at a 6 say Summon a heal for move speed as well. Does live. Shine gets a slow. Not going to mean much again. Uh, Danny. Yeah, oh, that's no. going to be a kill of the crits. Oh, just unlucky there. Had a coin flip. Didn't get it. Heads. Be careful because 6 is still on the way forward. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, the Gale Force. <laughs> there you oh, go. That one stings. He's not making it work. He gets exhausted as he goes in. The marksmen then are going to go wild and fishing for something. OK, impact. Going to find himself rooted in place, ignited. Iconic is here. They have the damage. Q doesn't hit because he's unstoppable. And now we oh, get to go into the melee range. Zonia's burned. This could be danger. A lot of damage. And yeah, it is just Iconic getting burned down. They get the kill, but it's a two for one. Not a lot going to happen for this uh, Zonia. Be Baron. It will be Soul. Everything now in EG's favor. 6A trying to look for the Miracle Steel, but they waited the out. That's really smart. Teams yeah. that, that can threaten these crazy picks, but it's also really tough to draft against them. Because, because her hard counters were Jackson Riven. Yeah, yep. no one plays those outside of China, so they're safe blinds in, you know, three of the four best leagues in the world. And, you know, then you get to try it elsewhere. But now we got to play up the top side. Impact, he's going to be a zombie pretty soon. No, nope, not even that. Able to walk away. Thanks very much. Sorry, buddy. Down to the bottom side. We have a kill once again on the Gwen. Uh, we're going to have a Galio just to get to the side in time to defend the base, but it is a four versus five. Not afraid at all. Rampa nope. Impact here with the Zoomers to finish off the game. There we go. A knock up again on an Impact. Not going to matter here. Inspired to the front line. Going to look for Iconic. Going to find that kill and almost a solo, but Danny claims it. Wood like a Penta. It's not going to happen. No flashes in for the rocket. There's the double. There's the Nexus and the 2-0 for Evil Geniuses. Really well played.